So it's not uncommon for people on the autism spectrum to have mood swings and sometimes some very severe mood swings. So with mood swings, you may have a severely distorted self-image. You may feel worthless and fundamentally flawed at some level. Also, anger, impulsiveness, and frequent anxiety can push others away. In other words, you kind of inadvertently keep people at arm's length, even though you may desire to have loving and lasting relationships. Many people have some degree of moodiness, but they get better with treatment and they can live very satisfying lives. So don't get moody about being moody. Mood swings affect how you feel about yourself and how you relate to others and how you behave. So if you are aware that you engage in destructive behavior, but feel unable to change it, or you, if you have difficulty controlling emotions or impulses, uh, maybe you fear being around crowds, you feel misunderstood, you feel neglected, or sometimes you feel empty or hopeless. Maybe you have some sense of self-hate or self-loathing, and you might find that on occasion you even have suicidal thoughts. Then these are the signs of excessive moodiness that fall outside the normal range that we all have and would suggest that you might want to get some treatment. So when people on the autism spectrum have severe mood swings, they often have an insecure sense of who they are. Their self-image or their self-identity often changes rapidly, and they may even view themselves as bad or there's something wrong with me, and sometimes they feel as if they don't exist at all, or they're on the wrong planet. And unfortunately, an unstable self-image not only leads to mood swings, but it can lead to frequent changes in jobs, friendships, goals, values, just to name a few. So when the person on the autism spectrum has frequent and severe mood swings, obviously their relationships are usually in turmoil. And it seems like there is always conflict. If this sounds like something you're going through, you may find that you idealize your spouse one moment and then quickly shift to anger and resentment or perceived slights at other moments. This is because you may have difficulty accepting gray areas. In other words, you see things either in terms of exclusively black or white. So the treatment for mood swings includes psychotherapy and sometimes medications. The method I use would probably be subsumed under the category of cognitive behavioral therapy. And this is where I help the individual become aware of inaccurate, negative, and ineffective thinking patterns faulty belief patterns, cognitive distortions, and get to the point where they can view challenging social situations and challenging emotional situations more clearly and objectively looking through a different lens. We would look at your faulty belief systems that contribute to cognitive distortions, that contribute to uncomfortable emotions, that contribute to destructive behavior. 